Welcome back. Lawmakers are now playing the blame game. They're questioning how the Taliban could take over Afghanistan so quickly. Thousands of Americans who are still there now trying to get out very quickly. Fox 35's Matt Trezza talked to a mom who lost her son in the war, and she's now wondering if this was all worth it. Staff Sergeant Robert Miller served two tours in Afghanistan. His mother, Maureen, says the U.S. withdrawal from the country is a slap in the face of those like her son who served. The veterans, the people who served over there who are wondering, you know, was it worth it? Was it worth all this trauma? Was it worth seeing my buddies getting blown up? Um, it's just, it's devastating. Her son's Medal of Honor is fixed to the wall in the Oviedo home. It's an award only earned through courage and sacrifice, often the ultimate sacrifice. This is a good thing, you know, recognizing what he had done. Staff Sergeant Miller was killed by insurgents in Afghanistan in 2008. Ambushed by the enemy, heavily outnumbered, Miller led his men in holding off the assault and getting his men out of harm's way until help arrived, but too late for him. He had been hit, but still he kept calling out enemy positions. Still he kept firing. Still he kept throwing his grenades. And then they heard it, uh, Rob's weapon, fell silent. This is Miller's Medal of Honor citation describing his bravery in combat. I asked his mother how she thinks he'd feel looking at the situation in Afghanistan right now. I think he would be really upset. Maureen Miller met then Vice President Biden at her son's Medal of Honor ceremony. She says she's appalled at his administration's mishandling the withdrawal. She says it didn't need to be like this. It's either all-out war, you know, with sending, you know, thousands more Americans there, or, or you know, we leave the country, but there, there's uh, things in between that could have been done. She worries for the country's women and children and the men who helped U.S. forces there. Miller says she remembers what happened to one who helped her son. The family home had been um, hit by a mortar from the Taliban because of the father's work with the American soldiers. So they go after the whole family. In Oviedo, Matt Treza, Fox 35 News.